It's that day. It's that day, not the sunshine. That's a nice sunshine. That's a nice sunshine. Hey, yo, come on. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Thursday Nights of Sunshine. If my voice is croaking and going to different octaves, I apologize. My voice is gone. If you don't know, the UK has opened up everything. We have no more lockdown and the clubs are open. So what did I do last weekend? I went to the club Saturday and Sunday, yeah, and that's on period pool. <laughs> so what's been going on with me? So, you know, I've been going out. I've been, you know, making up for lost time, seeing friends. Um, going out for dinner, going out for lunch, going out for activities, going out for car rides, going up north to see my friends, just seeing people like, I, I just love being around people and I really, really, really miss that. So I'm so happy that I can do that. Um, and yeah, I've just been living my hot girl summer, do you know what I mean, doing hot girl stuff. <laughs> I've been living my hot girl summer doing hot girl stuff and that's on period pool. It's been a great summer. It's been a great year. Like looking back, wow. I've I've done a lot of stuff that I just wouldn't have done. But I said this year, I'm gonna be spontaneous. Like oh more, you only live once. Like I feel like last year taught us that life can just come and go like that. Like you can't spend life living with regrets, just being a dollar, just sitting at home like a, like a pancake. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm out there trying new stuff, you know, and I'm really enjoying it. And, you know, no regrets. Like, I'm just out here living my life and I feel like that's what people need to do. Just live your life. Of course, let me tell you one thing for free, baby. There's always going to be consequences. Whatever you do, there's going to be serious consequences. With every action you make, there's a reaction. Simple law of physics, you know. So as much as I'm promoting everyone to live their best life, live life without fear, but live life with sense, okay? Take risks, yes, but take calculated risks. Because now when the consequence comes to bite you in the bomb bomb, don't come and say, but Sunshine told me, because I didn't say anything, no. I didn't say anything, okay? So, do you be happy, but no more, use your head, you know? However, with going out comes serious financial deprivation. Hello? Spell deprivation. My account is really... In fact, I can't, I, in fact, <laughs> it started off in May, then May carried over to June, then the evil in June carried on to July, and I feel like July, or more, most of my friends are born in July, plus my mum, so, so much money has been spent. And the issue with me is that I'm still saving as if I'm in lockdown, you know. So I've said to myself, with my pay this month, I'm going to reduce the savings because Omar, the hypertension that is giving me when it's coming to the zero, in fact, it's gone past zero, it went to the overdraft. I have to transfer money to put one pound in just to make sure it doesn't stay in the overdraft. <laughs> I'm turning 25 in September. September 16th to be exact and it's just like wow like a couple months back I had like a quarter life crisis I was like oh my god I'm turning 25 and I didn't have what I want I'm not where I thought I would be do you know what I mean like I had certain goals set for myself that is not going to be achieved by 25 my life is a failure <laughs> I mean I could laugh at it now but I was very 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 upset you know um but yeah now i'm over it now i'm just grateful for life you know and it's like oh my people are winging it for life it seems like everyone's got to sort it out but no people that are 50 plus are still you know winging life so me too let me just 
you know relax don't put too much pressure on myself like and just you know acknowledge the things that I have achieved the older I get the more I realize ah, this body is not really functioning the way it's to function before like oh my gosh guys earlier this month I was in the hospital yeah like I had tubes being pumped into me like oh my very 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 scary experience and uh, very traumatic um i still don't even know the cause of my hospitalization but all i do know is that i was in severe pain i can't turn this neck anymore <laughs> like, ah that's the the most pain i've ever felt in my entire life and i have a high pain tolerance like i have a lot of piercings you know what i mean i can handle pain but that pain, that one wanted to kill me. I thought I was going to die, honestly. Yeah, that was very scary. And it just made me realise, like, when I was in the hospital and I saw different people, I saw their different situations, and I saw, like, grown men being treated as if they were vegetable, I said, the richest person in this world is someone that has perfect health. That is my revelation that I got from being in the hospital, because you can have you can come from a rich family a rich home you can have a great job but once your health goes that's it that's it once your health goes there's nothing you can do the richest person is the person that has good health so guys honestly prioritize your health take your vitamins go for regular checkups do you know what i mean this nhs so or more you gotta care for yourself because boy my experience with them Hmm. Hmm. I was discharged when let's say like the 2nd of July or the 4th of July and I'm still waiting for an appointment with the GP to get a blood test done nearly a whole month later and they just keep on doing me like yo yo honestly it's like anyway Sha I know we're in a tough period because of Covid and that so that's why I'm just being I'm just being calm but at the same time it's like boy in my health you know like i want to know what the issue was so it doesn't occur again you know but um yeah guys take care of yourself you know i'm grateful for all your prayers i put it on snap and like so many people said so much love and prayers i'm so grateful honestly god really came through um just take care of yourself you know yeah but anyways i just wanted to catch you guys up on my life because i know it's been a while since i've actually sat down and spoke about me you know what i mean oh my god guys so each year i take out my supporters my subscribers out for dinner and this year i'm taking out another three set of subscribers so i'll put the flyer up on the screen all you gotta do is just you know email me like why you wanna come basically that's it <laughs> that's it i'm not doing it to go and collect more followers i'm not doing it as part of a competition to boost my whatever no it's just out of the, the the love of my heart for you guys like honestly i'm not the biggest person on youtube do you know what i mean and i know that's down to a lot of factors one i'm not consistent two i'm not consistent three i'm not consistent and four i took that massive long break and when i see like subscribers out on the street they always say to me oh my god like where did you go like when are you coming back i'm just like girl i've been back <laughs> I've been back, but does nobody know I'm back? Like, I'm back. Like, spread the word, guys. Because clearly people don't know that your baby girl's back on YouTube. So, um, yeah. What was I even saying? I forgot. Oh, yeah. So, I know that I'm not, like, the biggest person on YouTube. But the little people that are here, you guys showed me so much love. And I'm so grateful. And I just want to, you know, extend that love back. And, like, I've got so many um, emails already call blimey picking free is going to be very very hard but just pray that more money enters my account do you know what i mean so i can take out more people in the future so i can't wait to see you guys and yeah i think that's it i have nothing else to say my current state of mind is grateful hopeful and content yep and ill you know, I need to sort out this sore throat thing. I shouted too much on the weekend. I need to take it easy. Otherwise, I'm going to lose it. And I can't afford to lose it. Well, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so much. 
and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.